Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the MacBook Pro. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, I actually did the unboxing of this 2012 MacBook Pro. So this is the 2.3 gigahertz model, 15 inch non retina. So I'll leave a link of that in the description below. So the first stage in this process is to take the bottom off. So you need to undo the screws. Now there are three screws that are longer than the others. So you have to make sure that they go back in the correct place. So as you can see here, I'm just taking them all off. And then once you finish, you can then just pull the bottom off and you will see the internals. So once you've got the bottom off, you can see here in the bottom left, you have the hard drive itself. And just above, there's like a plastic black strip. We need to undo the two screws here, and then that will then allow us to take the hard drive out. So the hard drive that comes with the MacBook Pro that I have is a 500 gig, 54 RPM hard drive. Now, I don't really want to use this. The capacity is okay, but it's just really slow. So this is why we're going through the process of installing an SSD. Now, when you take the hard drive out, be careful not to break the data cable here. So as you can see, I've taken it off very slowly. It is obviously attached to the internals. So the SSD that's going to be going into this MacBook Pro is a Samsung 840. This is a 250 gigabyte uh, SSD. Now, obviously, I'm losing 250 gig in storage, but that's more going to make up for it when it comes to the speed. So this is the hard drive that came out of the MacBook Pro. So what we need to do are take off the four screws, as you can see here, and also the little bit of tape that we use to take the hard drive out. So you might be thinking, what's the point of actually putting an SSD into your, your MacBook or your PC or whatever? And in the upcoming video after this one, you will see why. You'll just see the difference in the speed of the read and write performance of the SSD versus the standard hard drive. So again here, we just need to take off the little uh, plastic tab. And we need to attach that onto the SSD, which means then if we need to take it out at a later date, it just makes it that little bit easier. Okay then folks, we're finally at the stage of putting this thing back in, so we just need to plug the data cable back in, and then we need to slot this in. Now you need to put it in at the bottom first, and then it will just slot in at the top, and it's now nice and flush. And as you can see here, we've got the, the little tab just in case we need to take this out at a later date. Now we just need to grab that little black strip that was holding in the original hard drive into the Mac. Now this can only go in one way, so you can't really get it wrong. Once you put it in, just screw the two screws in and then we are pretty much good to go. Just put the back on, make sure you get those three longer screws in the correct place and then we'll fire this up and make sure the Mac OS X is actually seeing the SSD. So once you've actually got Mountain Line installed on your new SSD, you can come into About This Mac and you'll see here uh, more info. And then if we can just go across the tabs onto Storage, you will see I now have a 250 gig solid state drive. So that is pretty much how you upgrade it. Like I said, in my upcoming video, I'm actually going to show you the difference between the standard 5400 RPM drive to the SSD, which is just amazingly quick compared to that old drive. So this is one of the things I always do on my computers now is upgrade the standard system hard drive to an SSD, which just improves the performance. So I just want to thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button just below. And as always, guys, I will catch you all in the next one.